Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are going to talk about workhorse stock, Tesla stock, and Boeing stock. Go hit the like button right now, subscribe if you are new, leave a comment down below your thoughts on these articles, and let's get into today's stock stories. We will start off talking about a workhorse stock update, then we will discuss Tesla's 2 million mile battery, followed by Tesla's predicted earnings report, which is really good news, Tesla's chances of making a $25,000 car, and to end the video we will talk about some good news about Boeing stock. So let's begin with our workhorse stock story. In a previous video, I talked about how certain states, such as California, are giving out vouchers to companies who are going green and buying electric vehicles, and how Workhorse's C-Series vehicles are eligible for those vouchers. Well, now New York State is doing that as well. This is great news for Workhorse stockholders. Because of New York's Truck Voucher Incentives Program, monetary vouchers can be given out to companies who purchase any amount of C-1000 and or C650 truck models from Workhorse Group. These money vouchers can be worth all the way up to $44,000 and $48,000 per vehicle. But to get this full amount, the purchaser must replace and or recycle their own diesel vehicle in the process. The CEO of Workhorse said this in response, and I quote, Being able to sell our vehicles through the NYT VIP will enable us to dramatically reduce the sales price of our C-Series vehicles to eligible purchasers which should be a material positive contributor to new sales going forward. He goes on to say the application and approval process was a significant undertaking that, now completed, gives us another advantage in the last mile delivery space. We are appreciative of being included within the state of New York's broader efforts to reduce carbon emissions by making it easier for fleets to adopt clean vehicle technologies. This is very exciting news for Workhorse and Workhorse stockholders, but now we get to go into Tesla and Tesla supposedly has a 2 million mile battery that can last for 2 million miles, which is insane. So let's get into this article right now. A Tesla battery researcher has test results that say this battery can last up to 15,000 charging cycles, which is equivalent to 2 million miles, which is approximately 3.5 million kilometers. This is not even that surprising because the latest lithium ion battery technology can produce batteries that would last 1 million miles or more, which I have already talked about in a previous video, but now they have doubled that. With the updated test results, these batteries are in a league of their own because they set their own benchmarks. Here is some data to look at of Tesla's battery results. These Tesla batteries have been tested for three years, which is equivalent to 10,000 cycles, and they are still holding strong through their various charging cycles. If we do the simple math of 350 kilometers times 10,000 cycles, that is 3.5 million kilometers, which is approximately 2 million miles. Now here we are talking about the battery's longevity, not the amount of range that a battery will get on a single charge. That's why we are talking about charging cycles. So the battery will last 2 million miles. It will not give the car the ability to travel 2 million miles on one charge. Just wanted to clear that up for some people. To add on even more good news, these lithium ion batteries do better under conditions where they are not charged and discharged 100% of the time, which normally happens when you are using an electric vehicle anyway. Even after 15,000 cycles, the battery shows little to no degradation in it. On average, an American drives their vehicle less than 30 miles a day. So again, we can do some simple math. If we're commuting 30 miles a day and we can have a 300 mile range, that is going to be perfect for this battery. So if the owner of these vehicles that use these batteries charge their vehicle before the 10th trip, before it totally goes under, it would mean that these batteries could virtually last for for the entire lifespan of the car itself, which means that you would never have to replace these batteries ever because the car is going to end up clonking out and dying before the battery. This is amazing news for Tesla stock investors and anyone who wants to purchase a Tesla vehicle in the future. Tesla CEO Elon Musk even said that he plans to have million mile batteries for the robo taxis. These batteries will also help Tesla and Elon Musk in other initiatives of Tesla such as power walls, power packs, and Tesla's semi trucks while adding to the convenience of vehicle to grid features. 
These insanely long-lasting Tesla batteries will also help for grid energy storage, recycling, and could even have hybrid aircraft uses in the future. With Tesla batteries that last as long as these do, the sky is the limit, and this could greatly affect Tesla's stock price in the coming weeks or months or years as they continue to innovate this technology. Because of the extreme longevity of these batteries, it opens up so many different pathways for Tesla. The scientists that actually produced all of these statistics and graphical data for us says this Tesla is moving forward at the speed of light they are upscaling their factory they know they are going to need terawatt hours of batteries for both energy storage and vehicles it's an incredibly exciting time for Tesla these are very impressive test results from Tesla's batteries and I am excited to see how they're gonna innovate their longevity range and effectiveness and efficiency further in the future Tesla has been guiding and gliding now for a while but I like to see how they have improved their longevity of their batteries it does the stock and it's gonna do the company very well in the long run they seem to be holding up pretty well already but Tesla is not out of the woods yet they still have a lot of competitors up and coming but right now Tesla reigns supreme our next story is about Tesla's earning report and how Wed Bush believes that Tesla stock could rally from the results of this earnings report Wed Bush is bullish on Tesla stock and anticipates that Tesla's earnings will be a positive gain. Listen to this quote. To this point, we believe Tesla's improved manufacturing efficiency and shining Giga 3 success in China will be on full display later this week and lead to another strong bottom line performance, which should beat the street in our opinion. In terms of overall unit demand heading into year's end, we believe Tesla is on pace to impressively achieve in the area code of 500,000 units for the year. A line in the sand that was a pipe dream six months ago as Tesla having navigated this unprecedented COVID backdrop. Tesla's predicted price target jumped from $475 per Tesla stock to $500 per Tesla share, while bullish estimates remain at a $700 price prediction for Tesla stock. Our next story is about a $25,000 Tesla car, and is it real? Can Tesla really make an affordable $25,000 vehicle? Well, we're about to find out. Earlier, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk tweeted out that the Model S would now be $69,420, but that was clearly a joke. But it did get me thinking of can they actually make a $25,000 affordable vehicle with the technology and standards that Tesla has already set? Well, let's dive into it right now. Even if Elon Musk reduces battery costs, has better batteries that have more longevity, power, and range, and he cuts down on manufacturing costs, a $25,000 Tesla car might seem out of reach. But is it really? What if I told you Tesla can make an electric car right now that sells for $25,000? Which is true, they can, but the real question is can Tesla do this profitably? The short answer is yes, but they can't do it right now because their gross margins are so narrow right now spanning anywhere between 17% to 25% that they could not possibly pull this off with their current technology, but it is going to come in the future and here's why. Tesla's cheapest car right now is a standard range plus Model 3 which has a price tag of around $38,000. And a $13,000 gap is no small feat, but let me continue. If Tesla can meet most of its cost reduction objectives related only to batteries, it can cut costs by $5,000 per vehicle. This puts us closer to a break-even point, but not quite yet at profitability. We need to cut at least another $8,000 off to break even, but Elon Musk said that we could have a $25,000 Tesla as soon as 2021, but clearly Elon is not the best at meeting deadlines. The beautiful thing about technology is that new technology is always coming out and being worked on, which lowers the price of old technology. In a snapshot and in a perfect world, if Tesla meets all of its cost reductions in all of its sectors, grows at a 50% rate and continues to innovate their technology, plus adding on an average of 2.5% inflation per year, we could see a $25,000 Tesla within the next five years easily. Now, there are a lot of assumptions in this article and even in that thought process that I'm not going to get into, but it is always fun to think of hypothetical 
hypothetical situations where this would definitely work. Not to mention a 50% growth rate is very difficult to maintain, especially since the only high volume product to come out for Tesla that we know about is the Cybertruck. So will the Tesla Cybertruck being released in 2021 make up for this? Possibly, but we're going to have to wait to find out. All of that to say that Tesla is on the right track, and although they have a lot of ground to cover, we will see a $25,000 electric vehicle from Tesla. We just do not know exactly when that will be. And this brings us to our last story, which is Boeing stock. Boeing stock had a huge dip in March and has not recovered that much since its fall. And most investors use Boeing as a great recovery stock, but here is some good news. A type of Boeing 737 has been deemed unsafe to fly, so it needs to go through multiple organizations to gain approval to make sure it is safe. Although the EASA said it was safe to fly, it still needs to be codified, so in the meantime, the 737 along with Boeing stock is down for now, which could give you a great buying opportunity if you have not already bought Boeing stock. A quote from the EASA says, Our analysis is showing that this is safe and the level of safety reached is high enough for us. So the Boeing 737 will fly again and will not be grounded for too much longer. This statement from the EASA can be looked at as good news and an endorsement, but not as a green light, because the EASA needs to still complete its data review of the aircraft's airworthiness. After that data review and other governing bodies giving Boeing the okay, then and the plane will rise along with Boeing stock hopefully. Another thing that Boeing has to complete is getting past the FAA, which is expected to pass in mid or at the end of November, right before the EASA draft airworthiness directive will open for comments. No delays are initially anticipated because apparently the Boeing 737 is now safer than ever. This should equate to a smooth recertification process and everything should just flow smoothly and then hopefully we can even bet on some stimulus checks coming out which will also boost Boeing stocks which would be absolutely phenomenal. Right now Boeing stock price is $169 and it has not outperformed the market as previously thought by investors. But with stimulus talks and recertification for Boeing on the horizon, this stock might rally pretty soon. The problem is that there is uncertainty in the airline industry right now, which is making investors nervous. So right now, politics, along with fears of the illness, are keeping this stock down. That's all I have for you all today. Like the video, comment, and I'll see you in the next YT video.